the old push day got a new program going i'm gonna still be doing push pull legs and just with the rest days in between that's what i see the best results with strength wise too even in the cut what the fuck is a scooper bro i got some new movements picked out new programming and everything we're gonna mess around with some of the goodies here i'm taking magnify again too i just like the stem of enraged but it doesn't have the pump formula in it i don't what the fuck is this for this tampon that's always in like <laughs> Keep it moist or some shit. Like, do these sh things be leaking in packaging? Six. Six of the boner pills. Bitch. Code Monkey, I'm huge. Save you some moolah. I'm still gonna be taking all my movements. Like, I'm gonna narrow it down to six to eight for my rep scheme. I'm excited to do pec deck. I haven't done pec deck in a minute. And I got dumbbell shoulder press. I wanna get strong at some dumbbell shoulder press. I also got weighted dips in there. When we went to failure with Germ, I hit like, what, 13 reps or something? Yeah. I can't be hitting 13 reps on the set, bro. I gotta narrow that down. I'm gonna have some weight hanging from my ball sack. I wanna be fucking dipping with two plates hanging from my sack. <laughs> but I'm gonna just treat it as like a finisher at the end of my workout. Oh, it's boogie. I haven't uh, touched pec deck in a minute. Fuck it. Uh, 1.30. I'm still gatekeeping. Nobody leaked the gym in the comments, bro. I swear. Man, that shit you like this, bitch. clicker things oh yeah like well. while you're filming you know you got seven <laughs> i think i got seven i don't know we'll see we'll watch it back i'm trying to do partials too if i still got that in the tank if i can move it from here to here there's still something to be worked just bust them out try to keep the form good with it obviously it's just like the what we do with the shoulders the partials it's safe if you make it safe that felt good we're gonna move on to some yeah i'm gonna try the incline hammer strength we did that with germ though it's a warm up now. I ain't taking that to failure. <laughs> that shit was fucking cardio for the video. That's what I'm saying though. The rep scheme was supposedly six to 10 and then I ended up hitting 16. It was still <laughs> failure, so fuck it. You live and learn, you get heavier next time. <laughs> A little Bradley Martin in the end. <laughs> I feel like I was weaker on this before. Someone put something in my cereal when I'm not looking. I'm just saying that to cover up that I'm a fake natural. That would be like... It's some evil shit. Was like uncovered as a fake natural. And <laughs> everyone that looks up to me for being natural was just completely lied to. <laughs> oh shit. This is the fucking gym. They're playing my chemical romance, bro. <laughs> this is the fucking gym. Do I call the show prep Road to Natty Pro? That kind of go hard. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's get some 80s. They're so thick. Dude. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's like my... Now I'm playing. Mine's like from here down. <laughs> I put all my sexual energy and built up anger into the weights. Bricked up mid-press, honestly. I'm so passionate about these fucking weights. Oh, 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 they're there. It took seven weeks. <laughs> okay, cool fucking round. Oh, I'm 
only got like fucking four, bro. It's cause this. I'm using that one before. I get too shaky on that. Cause like, my tank is fucking right here. It's like I'm riding a bike while pressing fucking 160 pounds over my head. That's what's happening. No, it's like a boys bike. You know, the yeah. boys versus girls. So the girls always got that comfy yeah. ass seat. <laughs> I just found it better to press with more support on your back, even for shoulder, especially for incline. That's not a thing, I don't think. I don't know. I'd use that for like bicep curls, but hey, we hit the set regardless. We just got four to beat now. I'm calling Will Hit Seven next week if we use that bench. Falling in line, and Jonah. I fucking hate MGK. I'm just kidding. Don't put any of that negative shit. I have no enemies, Drew. <laughs> Five, six. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I ain't fucking counting. It's not a rep. I ain't counting partials. So. Triceps are bigger than yours. Bro, she's getting gains. Right? She's slipping test. <laughs> One inconvenience from pinning, bro. I swear. <laughs> if Greg even hints at me being a good potential IFBB pro, you're gonna see a different type of arc. Was Dorian in here? Fucking baby. sauce and knives <coughs> I'll do whatever it takes to keep that in my program that shit feels gas the only other machine I would put is that one I'll probably just cycle them honestly there's just zero point in doing standard dumbbell side lateral raises when some of these machines keep constant tension and it's even throughout the entire range of motion because side laterals you'll be right here and it'll just get heavier 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 and then you're getting nothing right here, essentially. I mean, unless you're like fucking JPG training, not moving fucking super strict form, you're probably not getting anything right here. It's also probably like more odd to hurt yourself whenever you're pulling from like way out there. Yeah. Versus from Dude, like gravity is up and down. Why would yeah. you motherfucking like seesaw around gravity? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was rocking with side laterals before, but sometimes you have a shift in mindset. You gotta be willing to learn from your mistakes. Now I'm gonna get big ass shoulders. Good old triceps. It's like fucking Call of Duty, bro. What one do I pick? I'm gonna do extensions and then I'm gonna do dips. Dips is the finisher. Extension though, which I use. So these are the most goaded. Yeah, yeah. We'll play with this. We'll start with half stack. It's like, damn. This shit molded for tricep extensions. All right. sooner yeah. than I thought. How many reps you get? Like nine. Yeah. Yeah, 12 body weight. Ah, maybe you just went crazy with germ. I don't know. I think I'm just getting used to the movement too. I noticed that when I pick new movements, I'll even just PR from just having good ass technique. That's why sometimes I'll, I'll double run a program sometimes. I'll pick what works for like three to four weeks and then plan either a deload if I need it or just continue the program for like four more weeks. Just cause it takes like one to two weeks to get used to movements and really get good at them. Especially when you're only hitting one session a week, you just have less repetition to get good at it, so. Like this, biatch. <laughs> I'm like 195 right now. I'm probably realistically gonna get to like 192 and then we'll see what Greg wants me to do. Well, that's pretty much update. I feel fine. I am, however, moving more outside the gym. I'm taking 10 minute walks after each meal. A shout out Stan Efferding. Like biohack men's health stuff. And it's always cool to learn new things. I just pop them on when I go on my walks. I make an effort to like learn something new every time I go on a walk. Cause I'm not just gonna, 
I go outside and walk for 10 minutes after each meal. Your insulin sensitivity goes up by 30% and you digest uh, and intake nutrients better just by taking a 10 minute walk. It makes me feel great. I get to go outside. It's nice in Utah for but fucking also, once. Uh, give JoJo some, some exercise. Yeah. yeah, JoJo's doing cardio. It's literally the body in motion tends to stay in motion. Everyone that you see that's like over the age of 60, they probably do daily walks and stretch and everything to Jay keep up Cutler, with their health. Perfect yeah. example. Jay Cutler would stretch for like two hours a fucking day yeah. when he was competing. Just focusing on all that stuff outside of the gym just maximizes your gains inside of the gym. You're more flexible, agile. Joints are healthier, ligaments, so you can push more weight. Like oiling it's, it's your car. Just good, I mean, uh, I heard it, I took the information in, I applied it, and it's working out pretty fucking good for me. I'm gonna go to the crib and talk about how I'm losing so much fat at such rapid rates. I'm gonna make this as simple as possible, ultimate guide to losing fat. First, I mean, most of us know you need to be in a caloric deficit is the most important thing. But what I think is more important than the deficit is finding something that works, compliance over everything. The best diet is the one that you can stick to. Okay, remember that. I only change my diet like carbohydrate wise. I'll add in more carbs and more protein, but that's about it. I'm usually cycling the same foods and just adding bigger portions throughout the year. Or if I get bored of a food, I'll switch it out. But it's usually pretty much the same thing every day except for the weekend of course outside of prep if i'm in a bodybuilding prep i'm not fucking cheating or anything i mean in the off season you get to relax you go out with friends and you can kind of enjoy that but there's tons of good food selection i like eating yeah, yeah, I do. I was on like the rice cakes for a minute. Uh, now I'm doing like yogurt and protein chicken banana just because I feel like it. But you don't have to be super picky about them and they're not crazy expensive or anything. You can just do like a fat Costco run. Hi, how much was this? Yeah, bucks. like 12 bucks for how many fucking... There's like 15 in here or something. A lot. That bullshit about eating healthy is expensive. No, it ain't. Go to Costco, get a membership. That's about the most expensive thing that you're gonna get is a membership. And everything else there is just in bulk and you're chilling. Yeah, so finding something that you can stick to, then caloric deficit. Everyone has a calorie maintenance and that is the amount of calories that you would eat based on your attributes, yourself, to maintain your current body weight. So let's say, what, I'm 195 right now. I would say my caloric maintenance is probably like 3,000 calories. So if I ate 3,000 calories every day, my body weight would essentially stay the same. And so you wanna take that number and caloric deficit, put yourself in a caloric deficit, whether that be decreasing the amount of calories that you eat or increasing the amount of activity you do throughout the day. You can pick either or do both at the same fucking time. Like me, I'm literally gonna eat my next meal and go for a 10 minute walk. Three 10 minute walks, 30 minutes of cardio, that is burning calories. Just go for a walk, get your 10K steps, it's entertaining, go see the world, go touch grass, or you can drive to the gym and walk on the treadmill. That shit is so boring. I will cut my calories into oblivion before I do that <laughs> ever again, bro. You wanna do it as slow as possible. That way you have room to change things when your body plateaus. After like two or three weeks of eating a caloric deficit, let's say 2,750 calories. That's a deficit from your 3,000 maintenance. You're going to lose weight, but your body will reach homeostasis and that's when it pretty much gets used to that amount of calories. You're plateauing. So you have to change something. You have to either decrease calories some more, and I usually like to do like 200 is usually a sweet spot for me, or 250, 200, 250 of a deficit. So you'd either have to cut it to like 2,500 calories, or you could go and take a couple walks, increase your activity outside the gym. So that's pretty much the basics of actually physically losing weight. I might as well prepare my chicken while I'm talking. Then I can show you guys how I make my chicken. It's just the frozen chicken and then I season it and then I pop it into the air fryer. Air, air fryer's a new wave, bro. And they're supposed to be healthier. Boom! For real? Yeah, they're supposed to be way healthier than cooking on like a pan and stuff. It's just pretty fast too. Let's see, so we got increase your activity outside the gym, obviously, and caloric deficit and finding something that works best for you. You're not gonna get anywhere if you can't do something for longer than a year. Usually I have a goal. Mine was like eight weeks, my cut. If you don't find something that's sustainable, after those eight to nine weeks, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna have balance, consistency. What you should do is after your cut, slowly start introducing more carbs, whether that be more servings of rice or an extra packet of oatmeal, slowly adding your 
diet again. You don't want to go eat a bunch of calories after your cut and gain a bunch of fat. I want to make that point clear because I see a lot of people do that, especially in bodybuilding. You see them go on these crazy post show binges and gain a ton of fat and I don't want you to do that. Find something that works for you, whether that be eggs and bacon in the morning and you can eat that every morning and it's gas or chicken. I motherfucking love this chicken, air fryer chicken and the sticky rice. I can eat this every day of the week. And people don't sleep enough. I mean, you live and you learn. Even the last time I was getting like maybe six hours of sleep, like the last time I was on a cut. If you can't get eight hours, try to get seven. Don't underestimate sleep. I'm pretty basic. I just put garlic, salt, chili, seasoning, salt, pepper, flip it and put it on the other side. Another solid ass tip that I have for just getting through a cut because cravings do kick in. Although I want to say just don't be a pussy and just don't give into the cravings, which that's the reality of it. Just don't go in your pantry or think about food if you want to cheat. And the biggest part is keeping yourself busy. If the walks aren't enough, pick up a hobby, pick up a side hustle, try to turn it into a main hustle. Just keep yourself busy. I even get so busy with just side stuff that I forget to fucking eat and I have to catch up on my meals. And that's pretty nice because usually when you're cutting, you have a bunch of cravings and you're all grumpy because you can't eat stuff and you have to resort to trying to get rid of your sweet tooth with slamming a bunch of diet sodas and shit that isn't necessarily terrible for you. You don't need to do all that and you can keep your diet clean without. I mentioned intermittent fasting in a previous video. That's another big help. With intermittent fasting, you don't gain like anything physically from intermittent fasting unless there's some crazy science article that fucking dropped that I didn't read. Your eating window is just shorter, so there's less time in between each meal, so you're just fuller longer. Another good tip, I like to eat a lot of my fats in the beginning of the day, just because fats take longer to digest, so you'll stay fuller longer. Y'all see I'm throwing a bunch of fucking seasoning on this. That is good. If you don't have enough sodium in your diet, especially while cutting, you will feel like shit. That's like an old fitness myth, like the sodium, and they're like, I don't salt my chicken, and like, people even put sodium in pre-workouts now, yeah, they put pink Himalayan salt. If you've seen people like throwing salt in the pre-workout, it gives you a better pump. You just feel better when you have sodium in your diet. If anything, season your food more when you're cutting in comparison to when you're bulking. Booyah. I normally throw this in for like 10 minutes and then I flip it. There's like an automatic thing that tells me to flip it. Other than that, the only thing you gotta have is discipline and you can make anything happen. So if you want it bad enough, you can implement those things and you gotta find what works best for you. I've been doing bulking and cutting cycles for like three or four years now. Obviously the first ones were a learning process, so definitely don't be too hard on yourself. Make sure you're building a foundation before you even think about cutting or you're gonna look like a ramen noodle when you get cut. Don't be afraid to bulk, don't get so caught up with looking a certain way for social media. I am just dieting. Although I do get like objectively better content because I look better and I'm more shredded. At the end of the day, it is not optimal for my hormone levels and I'm just getting in a comfortable position so I'm not suffering the whole time throughout a prep. And then I'll only have to diet for like 10 to 12 weeks instead of dieting like 16 to 20 if I didn't do that cut all in a row. Because like I said, I'm not having to cheat or anything and that's just going to make the process longer. So at the end of the day, do not feel pressure to look a certain way because if you're sacrificing sacrificing your health to look like a certain someone or to just be shredded for social media, you're better off not doing it. Especially if you're young, build the foundation because you're going to set yourself up in a better position if you do when you're older. Hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you guys want to see a full day of eating. We can do a full day of eating. Show you what I'm eating throughout the day. That shit's smoky. Like the, bro, I just like this rice better. That sticky rice. I kind of burned it a little, I'll be honest. You gotta leave calories for the barbecue sauce always. Look at that bite. Oh, you want some, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> Glass of OJ. Merch idea is locked in. Working on a website. We have fulfillment. Merch coming soon. Okay, I will keep you guys updated with that. The whole uh, warehouse setup is out in Maryland. So we're gonna be visiting Alex and the twins pretty fucking often. So that'll be hype. But I will keep you guys updated with the merch. We're going to LA what day the 19th yeah we're gonna go to la so obvious mandatory vid with lex so that'll be hype and i'll be leaner than lex for once i'm only leaner than lex like a month out of the year he can just not eat food for a day and be stage ready i'm gonna wrap up the video please slap that like button in the ass in the ass in the ass new videos every sunday 7 p.m mst motherfucking love you guys peace out baby uh,